Up next on Comcast Newsmakers, hard to believe, but election day is just around the corner. Coming up, a look at the races and issues on the ballot. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are at the beautiful Governor's Mansion in Olympia. And joining me right now is Washington's Secretary of State, Kim Wyman. Secretary Wyman, thank you so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure to see you today. Thank you, it's good to be here. As I said, hard to believe, but election day is almost here. Of course, it's not a presidential election year, but we have a lot of uh, very important races and issues on the ballot this year. So let's talk about some of those. Okay, uh, well first, there is no statewide race on the ballot this year. Uh, we have all 10 congressional seats up uh, and have a pretty interesting race over in the 4th Congressional District with Doc Hastings leaving, so that will be fun to watch. Uh, besides that, we have all of the House members in the legislature and about half of the Senate are going to be on the ballot. And uh, we have a, uh, across the state a lot of county races that are on the ballot. So in terms of local impact, really important for voters to show up. Sure, a lot going on there Absolutely, all corners of the state. Absolutely. What about issues? Uh, we've got a couple that I think are going to really get uh, voters um, excited, hopefully, and turn out. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is the K through 12 class size initiative, and that is really going to um, determine whether or not we have an additional layer to McCleary that the legislature will need to deal with. Uh, then we have two competing gun measures that um, one would restrict what laws could be passed related to background checks and the other one that is uh, wanting to have more background checks. So, And if you haven't been watching television then you have not seen all the ads but have you been watching television at all they are everywhere. Absolutely. Those those for and those against. So that seems to have been getting a lot of play at least lately on yes. TV. Yes, and, and I think they're emotional issues. I think all three are emotional issues and, and I think those will probably drive turnout the most. So issues, a lot of local races. What else do we need to know? Here we are, you know, coming up very, very close. And I know a lot of times people don't think about it until it's the day or two before, but certainly there are some important dates to keep in mind as we get closer. Absolutely. The, the first one is October 6th. That's the last day you can register online or by mail to, uh, to, you know, to get registered and participate in the election. And it's also important for people to update their registration address or their name if they've gotten married since the last time they voted or if they've moved, you want the ballot going to your new address. So I encourage people to do that by the 6th. And you also mentioned the name change, which is important because if your name is not matching up, if you've changed your name, if, if you have changed your name because you got married, um, that's important to note too. It is. And now the auditors are checking every signature of every ballot that comes back um, and making sure that it matches the one on file. But certainly if you've updated your name, it's easier for the auditor to, to check it if you have the updated name. So uh, the other deadline is the 27th of October and that is for in-person registration for new people who aren't registered at all in the state. And you have to actually go into the county elections office to do that. We are one of just a, a few states, I believe only two states, but correct me if I'm wrong, one of only two states that has uh, all mail-in ballots, no showing up anymore at the at the voting precinct and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, choosing, casting your ballot. Um, why is that? Why does it, why is it better in your opinion to have all mail-in? Well, I, I think that what we've really seen, especially in the last primary, is it does increase turnout and participation because you're mailing a ballot to everyone's household. Um, we had, what I was very disappointed with 31% turnout in the primary election, we were the second highest in the country. Oregon, the other vote by mail state, uh, was higher they have a very hot Senate race and a governor's race, so I think that was why they beat us. Not that I'm competitive or anything. <laughs> um, but compared to the rest of the country, we were far above some states that were in you know, double digits, low teens. It's sad. Secretary of State Kim Wyman, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We have headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour. Sure hope you can stay with us.